So coming up now, we got uh, Raphael. Hello, Mr. Raphael. Hey, good morning. <laughs> good afternoon. Hey, no, we're in the evening already. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, yeah. so uh, he's going to get started. Let me do an introduction with him. And right now, also for anybody who's just joining us, we got Joan Francis in the playroom. She's going to do one hour special session on really how to tap into your psychic abilities. So um, besides her doing that for the next hour after that, she's going to be leading us for the day. And uh, Raphael is joining us from Santa Fe, New Mexico. And he's like an angel channel. He specializes in Shungite. He's a healer who specializes in heart thread healing, which I'm not familiar with much. And he's an author. He's a retired heart maker. He's a channel for healing guidance of the angels. He's a visionary poet, editor, writer, dancer, hiker, lover of trees and nature. And he's single, ladies. So he's also a musician, <laughs> loves to sing, jam on the flute, harp, and harmonica. That's my kind of guy. I like a guy who likes to play music. He provides Shungai for protection from the EMF frequencies. He's a trainer of heart that practitioners, a minister, and he channels a 13-week online program from the Compassion Companions and is currently publishing a book, 13 Voices of the New, New Earth Council. But I believe you just, is it published? Is it published by now? Uh, it's a manuscript. I'm looking for a publisher. You don't have a publisher yet? We got somebody for you. All right. You, you, oh, you, you weren't, were you not here last month? Um, you me? Maybe not. Okay, so mom, Peter Marks has a contact. Her name is Marla. Write this down. Mar Marla helps people uh, uh, publish and edit uh, books like things that we're doing. Okay? Great. Awesome. Beautiful. And uh, Marla is also helping Joan Francis right now. And if anybody out there who's in the spiritual enlightenment uh, uh, light worker area and you've got a book that you need some support with, Marla can help you and we can connect you. So please tell us what you're going to do and enjoy the next 25 minutes. Have a great time, everybody. He's awesome. Get your pens and pencils out. I learned so much from this guy. Oh, well, I want to welcome you to, uh, to this little gathering. Um, you may not realize, but the, um, the number of angels that are in our company uh, outweighs and outnumbers those uh, whose faces are on the screen. So I want to invite you to put your right hand on your heart and your left hand on your right, just for a moment to take a nice deep breath. Feel Mother Earth beneath us. Father, sky above us, allow that downpouring of a sense of stillness to come down from above, filling our hearts and going all the way down to the very core of Mother Earth so that our hearts are in the very center, weaving together a connection between heaven and earth and also radiating these threads from our hearts, which we call the heart threads, amongst all of us here, creating a beautiful weave of fabric that grows bigger and bigger as it weaves together the threads of all your loved ones, your friends, your family, your creatures, all the way across the whole planet, encircling Mother Earth with our love with our light and with this connection of heart that reaches into all time and all space. So you are welcome to rest your hands and we would like to bring you a few guidelines, a few messages about the power that you carry within you that is unique that only you have, nobody else. And so it is important to understand that much of the way you live your life has been conditioned from the very beginning through your parent, parents, through everything you absorbed as a child, through all the ideas that they gave you 
about yourself, whether you are unlovable, whether you are undeserving, whether you would never amount to anything, all the things that perhaps they said that you were, as a little one, absorbing, because that is how one gets accustomed to being in the physical world as a soul that incarnates. And so you believed all the things you were told, and very few of you were probably told how beautiful and magnificent you were, or how innocent and pure you were, and how you could do anything you put your heart and mind to. And these accumulations of belief systems have become so entrenched in each person that in many ways, when they face what is going on in their lives in the world, this is what motivates them to create the belief systems that create the realities of who they think they are, instead of understanding that each person was created out of the love of God. Each person is an expression of God's love in action. Each person carries within their heart that original blueprint for perfection. And each one, in fact, is perfect just the way they are. They do not have to prove anything and they do not have to get anybody's approval. They do not have to carry anybody else's weight upon their shoulders and feel responsible to be what somebody else wants them to be. For you have come here to experience your own self-authority, your own sovereignty. You are the divine. You are an aspect of the divine, and you have been given free will, which is the greatest gift in the universe. And most people do not know how to use that free will to elevate themselves and others, to bring service to the planet, which sorely needs that right now, and bring it in such a way that everybody gains, that everybody wins, that no one is left behind unloved, and that the capacity to love is your strongest gift. And more than that, what is needed at this time is light, for you are light in embodiment. Light and love ride upon the same vibrations of frequencies that emanate from the divine source of all that is, that created everything. And what is so needed in this time of darkness and fear is more and more and more light. And so we encourage you each day to anchor yourself in this column that we have generated with you at the beginning, to feel Mother Earth beneath you, to allow yourself to ground within the very nourishment that she gives you. She has created for you this miracle of a body through her elements, through her atoms and molecules. And she has allowed you to thrive, to, to flourish. She provides you with everything you need to sustain your life. Just as that divine spark from above that is your soul and spirit connection with source animated this body and allowed you to have this temple for you to bring forth your own individual wisdom and knowledge and gifts and love to help spread that sense of peace and comfort and ease in the world instead of the chaos of rush and hurry and more and more and more megabytes and gigabytes and more time with technology instead of with nature 
and with your own self-contemplation and with your own sense of cultivating that which you are, which is unique, which is your special gift to the world. And so we invite you when you do your meditation and your grounding to call in as much light as you can for it will heal everything. For the hands of light when they are placed upon your body can remove the pain with ease and grace. And light is what is needed to illuminate the darkness. So as you call in the light each day, remember also as you fill yourself up with it, it will overflow and radiate from you. You may never know to whom it goes and which hearts it will touch, but know that when you radiate light and love, you are doing your work in the world. We have come to you to present just as we did through the series that is now a book, to present to you the path of the spiritual warrior. Because until you love yourself, the amount of love that you give to others will always be somewhat tainted, always be diminished, because it requires somebody to be in their power to recognize the true nature of themselves as divine, as human, both. To recognize that as you embody this light and this love, all of those voices from the past that are constantly nagging at you, saying you are no good or you cannot do this or you will never ever amount to anything, that these voices are not true, they are not real. They have no relationship to the true nature of who you are. And so the path of the spiritual warrior is a path of not allowing any of those voices to run your life, of standing firm in your own inner power, of recognizing that all the gods and goddesses and angels and guides and all the great beings and gurus that you have accumulated outside of you actually dwell within your very heart. For your heart is the key. Your heart is the place where you have access to all knowledge, to all understanding, to all wisdom and to all healing. It is a quantum field. And the heart is the place where you have hidden your true light, your great treasure, those gems of the gifts that you have brought. And when you shut your heart, when you close it, or you put walls around it, or you put the mask on and hide from others in order to stay safe, you are denying the true nature of your own blossoming as a child of heaven. And so we recommend for you to face those voices within you or the voices without you that would promulgate fear and tell you what to believe. And you understand that the nature of your experience in life is foundation upon what you believe. As is said, and as is known in the, throughout the New Age universe, you create your own reality from your thoughts, from your feelings, but essentially from your belief systems. And most of the belief systems that create your reality were imprinted into you before you had the ability around the age of seven to distinguish between your own ideas and the ideas that were conditioned into you. Even before you came into this world, even before you incarnated within the womb, you were absorbing ideas and images and thoughts about you. Perhaps your parents wanted a girl and you were a boy. 
at a deep level. You knew and understood that there was going to be something wrong with you in their eyes, even if it was not spoken. You absorb everything because you carry with you all of the experiences of all your lifetimes. And most of you have come here in this lifetime to complete all of the cycles of birth, of life, of coming and going. You have all come here for the resolutions, but also you have come here to bring your gift, to bring your light, to bring that guiding energy that comes through you, to bring a warm smile or a warm touch, to bring a laugh, to bring that sense of everything will be okay as long as we trust, as long as we are able to tune in and keep our hearts open and live in the full presence in our bodies, fully incarnated, and allow ourselves to remember to breathe, to stop rush and hurry, to stop judging everything especially ourselves, to stop our assumptions, our projections, to stop living in the past with all of our regrets, with all those places of times when we have been rejected, when we have had disappointments and upsets, or when somebody spoke about us behind our back, or whatever it is. For the true warrior, the path of the spiritual warrior requires at the end of everything that you learn to forgive yourself and others, that you no longer take anything personally, and that you understand that you are your own highest authority, that no one can impose upon you any authority that does not resonate with your own inner truth. And it is time for you to live your inner truth on the outside, for the inner and the outer need to be in harmony and resonate with each other. It is important for you to live a healthy lifestyle at this time, to eat organic food and drink healthy water and spend as much time as you can in nature. Learning to love oneself means that you take time for yourself and you do not give yourself away to anyone for any reason. There is no need to compromise your integrity for you cannot find love outside of yourself if you cannot find it within. And so we will take a moment to check in and see if anybody would like to ask a question. And we will be happy to answer it in the time that we have. Let's unmute. Anybody would like to answer, ask a question as he's into this channel? Oh, you cannot find love outside of yourself. I'm sorry. If you cannot find it within. Beautiful. And so we will take a moment. Any questions? Mm -hmm. um, one. Alexandria, go ahead. Alexandria, go ahead. Um, is there any advice you can give on um, self-worth and healing and really like pulling that out? First of all, we would recommend that when you wake in the morning and you go to your mirror, that you send yourself a big smile and hug, maybe laugh and give yourself a pat on the back because you have managed to come this far and that you are a warrior and that you are proud of what you have accomplished and recognize that the past is over. The past 
no longer carries into this new day. And it is time for you to say, I love who I am. I am ready to forgive everyone and everything that ever created any discomfort within me. And I am ready to experience ease and grace, benevolence, and um, that magic word, abundance in my life. And I am ready for a new day that I have never had before. Thank you. And drink some good water and bless it and thank it. I do. And <laughs> recognize that the water loves you as much as you love it. Peace. <laughs> I actually tell it that I love it. <laughs> thank you. We have tuned in, have we not? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Do we have another question? How do you help somebody else realize that? And pl plus you guys can also follow him to his room for the next 30 minutes um, into room number 19. So you got time for one more question and then we're gonna do a, um, a door prize. Who would like the next one? Marilyn, um, Marilyn, did uh, anyone else? Okay, Marilyn, go for it. Marilyn, uh, you'll have to unmute if you want to ask a question. It's part of life. Go ahead. Unmute. You're muted. Just accept. Uh, did I have my hand raised or I didn't have a question yet? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Mistake. Okay. Sherry, what's your question? <laughs> Me? <laughs> You're on the spot. Oh no, it's okay. You don't need you don't need to put me on the spotlight. I would like to put someone else on the spotlight. I would like to have Vanessa Shratu for Laurel. I would like I can't say her last name, but I would like to give her the opportunity. Um, what's your, um, uh, um, I, I just want to, to know about like, um, manifesting, um, manifestation and how to, how to manifest more, like a more. Hi, better. Vanessa. Hi. Hi again. Um, trust. Mm -hmm. The greatest thing you can do is give it to your angels to take care of for you by trusting that you are being guided, that you are being um, helped, and that the universe wants everything that your heart desires. That means that you have to be very clear, very understanding about what the highest aspects would be of what you desire. For you do not want to ask for something that in the long run will bring you pain. So it's important that you are clear that what you want is what your heart desires and that will bring the greatest good for both you and everyone else. If it is in alignment with your highest self and your highest good and your highest wisdom, the universe and the angels will bring you everything that you want, but you have to trust and you have to stop doubting that you can have it or that you are an empowered, empowered and powerful woman, that you are in fact a goddess and that you can create anything that you want. However, the belief that you can't will sabotage that. So it is important for you to recognize that you have the power, but the self-doubt will sabotage it. And so when you give it to God or you give it to the goddess or your angels and let go, they will make sure that you have what your heart desires. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it is very simple. Yeah. Everything that is not simple, you do not need in your life. <laughs> Keep it simple. Chop wood, carry water, and make love. <laughs> and eat chocolate. 
I <laughs> need chocolate. It's always been kissed. Keep it simple, stupid. There you go. Right. But I, I mean, how about keep it simple, spiritual? I don't like the word stupid anymore. Back in the days, it was stupid. Um, no, it's kind of funny today when Joan Francis said, you know, uh, fear was, you know, it's usually. But she she replaced something today, which had to do with spirituality, which is really cool. And we all just kind of take a step into our these little guides of what how we need to move forward. So thank you so much, Raphael. If you're going to be sticking around with us in a couple of hours, you're going to be coming out and be performing on your harp, right? Today? Let's see how the time goes. Um, but I do have the harp here and I can play one tune. And that's all. I would love that about 8.15, about 8.20 would be awesome for like one set would be great. Earlier, earlier is better. Uh, Whatever. Okay. If, if you're available that time, I'll bring you out. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so great. So you're going to do a door prize, and I will. Yeah, so uh, I'll give a, a free half hour reading if somebody wants uh, to get hold of me. Um, and if um, uh, don't give me numbers yet, because I haven't I figured on one, yes. Um, I will give a half hour um, online or by phone or whatever if you uh, get back to me. Uh, and if you want more, that then you can pay. Um, I have a number in my head. Write it down in the chat, everybody. Why he keeps his eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Write down the number. If you already won something, you cannot do it again. It's only one per day per event, guys. I know sometimes you're in a roll. Yes, he's amazing. And you can uh, get a session with him for uh, free for five minutes, and you can buy additional sessions with him uh, by the minute. Okay. So um, are you ready? Are you going to open your eyes? Let me do five, four, three, two, one. Everybody who wants to win a session with him, make sure you put in the chat from zero to 100. If, if you have two numbers, uh, maybe he'll give both of you the award or maybe he might, um, we're going to have to pick again. Yeah, this is what happens sometimes when you both are tapping in. Okay, guys, five, four, three, two, and one. If you already won something, you can't win again. Okay, Raphael, what's your number? 84. Hmm. Oh. Four, two. We got a Donna uh, at 64. We got Alana, but didn't Alana, did Alana? Somebody had a 70 something. We had a 70 something? I saw a 73 when I, just before I closed my eyes. No. Well, it's going to be the highest number you got there, right? I was going to pick that number, the 73, <laughs> and I did it. Uh, we have a 64, Donna Blake. Okay. Donna Blake has not won anything yet. Congratulations. Sorry, Ilana. Um, but two of you uh, had 63s. We had Vanessa and Ilana. Um, well, I'll give them both. Do you want to do two, two prizes? Why not? Just, yeah. uh, just let's see. I just want the emails and okay. or make okay. sure. I tell you what, the, the simplest way to get hold of me is my name, Raphael Wiseman at gmail.com. Even though I have other names in my, uh, in the chat. Okay. So let me know that you won. Donna Blake and who? Vanessa? Uh, we had a double. We had Alana uh, uh, at 63 and we also had another 63, I believe. You had Ilana. Vanessa and Vanessa. Was had, Di Donna Blake was one? Yeah, Donna Blake. And then we had a double, Ilana Newman and Vanessa. Uh, Tara Tufalo. Oh, ta Tara Tufalo. Yeah. Girl, yeah. He, I, hope I, you cook, I hope you good, cook good Italian. <laughs> <laughs> we I had try. 
We've I, already I, had a few conversations. I, I, I would like to I would like to learn how you cook. I think you're a good cook. Are you a good Thanks. cook? I am a good cook. Thank you. I, yeah. How do I know that? I tasted garlic in my mouth. <laughs> I love garlic. Yeah. What? You love garlic? I love garlic. Yeah. <laughs> I just tasted garlic in my mouth. That's so cool. <laughs> so cool. So awesome, guys. Uh, make sure you put your information in the chat, whether you want to put your email to me privately or put it to him. Make sure that he gets it under Raphael Weissman. You can go visit him right now in his room or go to, um, actually everyone can go to his room and hang out with him for the next 30 minutes. Because coming up next, we have Hayden. Let's bring out Hayden Crawford coming in from Perth, Australia. All right. All right, you thank you, thank See you, you so much. 19. All right, thank you so much. And right now also going on in the um, room number, uh, one, we also have the psychic intuitive development going on there in the middle of their whole process. If you go in, just keep yourself mute and just follow what's going on for the next 30 minutes. You'll be there until 630.